Gentlemen, welcome back. I've always wanted to do that. I don't really know where to go with it from there. At any rate, we've got the old IR Thunder Gun. One of my absolute favorite impacts in the shop. I've had this thing for a long, long time, as you can tell from the wear and tear on it. However, she is still mean. And it's pretty dang wore out. The anvil, I think I showed this a while back, has done past its prime. It is time to replace it. Oddly enough, our friends at Astro Tools heard in one of my videos that I needed a new anvil and or saw it. And for whatever reason, they have one. I don't know what that means. Now this is an IR. I got this from Astro. So either they know a guy or there's some little secret we don't know about, but supposedly this is the correct anvil uh, for this impact. And we're gonna take and see what it's made of. Look inside all of its jiggly bits here. See what it takes to make it work. So we're gonna just pull the nose cone. I'm, I guess I gotta put it right out there. I'm not an impact expert, so your guess is as good as mine and what we'll find. And if it all goes kapot, I think these things are only 199 bucks brand new. All the screws out of her. I think I'll get this a little magnet tray. All right, here we go. I don't know if it doesn't come off that way. Well, there we go, that's not too bad. A little bit of goo because I'm always, always greasing it, you know. Maintenance is key. Not really. I mean, it probably is, but I definitely don't do it that well. Whoops, there's a pin. There's another one that's gonna fall out. There's another pin. We'll stick that back in there until we figure out how this back end comes off. Or we'll just take it out. <laughs> it's gonna be a short video. Does this uh, little ring pop out of there? Hey, look at that. Yeah, I knew it must have. So there's that. Looks like it has a gasket. Sorts. Let's set that to the side. It appears. I think you can get the breakdown for all these tools on IR's website because I've had to fix a couple other air tools. And I do know that they have had breakdowns on there before, so we'll set that to the side. There she goes. There's the meat and potatoes. So I have greased it at some point. Because the housing has grease in it, so that's good. Usually the only time we grease our air tools or oil them is usually when they're on their way out. They quit working, seize up, something like that. Is it the right one? Well, lucky, lucky. Well, that's kind of easy. These are our little hammers here. Pull the pin out of that. Now, I don't know if these are directional of any sort. Well, it looks like one goes one way, one goes the other way. All right, so that shouldn't be too hard to figure out. I'm gonna throw the stuff in the parts washer. All of those bits are now clean. Now we could stop here and just put our anvil back in. What is the fun of tearing something apart if we don't get to see everything? So now we're gonna take out, I guess the air motor it would be, that drives the impacting action. We just have to pay attention if there's a right side up to these parts. This does not appear to have a bevel or anything on it. However, these thrust washers, I guess they are. Perhaps they just hold tension down on the motor like a wavy washer, perhaps. They appear to be the same size, but we'll keep them stacked how they were off to the side there. I don't know. That should come right out of there, I'm thinking. Oh boy. So that's the top half, that's a keyway. Also that's the bearing. Now the fins here on our motor, Assume have a, a right side up. Maybe that whole rotor housing comes out. 
Let's see, let's take out a couple of these plastics. There we go. Ah, she's coming loose. Oh boy. There's a pin that fell in there. I assume this just sits inside the back of a bearing. I mean, it must. Let me get a pair of needle nose. We'll pull the little blades out. This may or may not work when we're done. There's our pin. Let's just see if these are special. All right, so the notch goes up. So don't forget that. Looks like they've seen better days, probably from being over-oiled. Not really. All right, there's no other way that can go. All right, notch goes up. Maybe Astro will give me a job when I'm done. out of there. All right, there's nothing to hold it in. It's got to. Oh, she's tight. Has to. She's working. Okay, so the whole thing's coming out with the bearing. Probably should have just put the anvil in it. Right? Let's give her a little, a little shot of shop solve. It's a, it's a cleaner. cocked off to the side a little bit. Sorry to give up. It's probably a really precise fit, so if you took your time it would come out easy. Try to straighten it up here a little. Splinters. This is not going as planned. Let's see if we can tap her back straight a little. Oh, that is not good at all. Oh. Looks like she's straightening up. be a snap ring that holds that into that rear bearing. Let's go back to plan A. Let's get a better piece of wood. Now she's cocking the other way. Come on, little fella. Trick me, Ma taught me. It's not hurting the end of it, so don't worry. It may or may not be helping you either. Oh boy. Mother loving thing. Oh, I feel like a jerk hole now. Now it's all cockeyed. Crap. 
pretty sure Astro is not going to hire me at this point. Did a little more beating on her. We're close to the end. Oh, sucker. Let's see. <laughs> Hooray, there it is on the floor. Perfect. Came out easy. Let's see, and there was a gasket with it. That was on the floor. Let's assume that goes behind it. There's the snap ring we were talking about. I don't think Astro's impact repairs usually involve splinters. I don't think we gouged up the case too bad. Nah, she's just a little crusty in there. She's dirty. I'm gonna go clean up this, clean up the motor, get all the schmutz out of the bearings. That should set back in there just ever so precisely. But I'm not going to stick it in right now until we're ready. This has a pretty fair amount of rust around the outside of it. So we use old Roger, get her shined up. That was a very unconventional method to get that out. In case you're, you know, doing your own. I don't think it matters because the rotor actually spins inside of, you know, this housing here. So, you know, if you gouge that up a little, you know, whatever. Ta-da! Everything is clean. Clean as it can be. It'll probably never work again. So before we stick this back in, I did take a Roger, clean the rust off the edge of it, and took a scotch brake to the inside there, so hopefully this little guy slides back together. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease in the bearing. Of course, we'll grease it when we're done. Maybe. So we'll just see if we can't get a little bit down in there. I just use regular chassis grease. I mean, if I ever grease my impacts, that's what I use anyways. So there we go. We'll lube her up on the edge. It may or may not help. And then of course we have the gasket that was down in there and that was that side down. Hopefully it stays where it needs to be. All right, I guess in order to make sure that stays where it needs, we will stick the pin in. Hopefully we don't have to beat this thing down in. I did put a few little uh, beauty marks on it. Of course, trying to get it out. this impact has been dropped, beat, bashed, so I don't know if the housing can be slightly deformed. I'm not trying to make excuses, actually I am. Oh, this thing is way tight. I don't want to have to bash it down in. It's bad enough we have to bash it on the way out. What do we do, folks? If you were an impact expert, what would you do? I suppose we could get a gauge and measure it, but. See if it is out of round. We need to get it going in the direction that it needs to be in, in its final resting position, just in case we can't rotate it, which is this position right here. I 
I should stick to fixing cars. I'm going to mess with this for the next 45 minutes and then we will turn the camera on. A little tap of the brass punch. And we just made leaps and bounds. Is that all the way to the bottom? It's not. Mm -hmm. Now it is, look at that. So that was easy. Okay. It did not take 45 minutes. I suppose we can put all of our little fins back in. I don't believe we want any grease on these because they need to fly out with centrifugal force. So we'll just stick them in there. We should probably wire wheel the top of that. That's pretty crusty. I guess in an effort to keep that from getting crusty again, not that we'll probably ever tear it apart, I'll put a little grease on it. Now I did notice that the holes here are offset to one side. I didn't remember when I took it apart, they were offset to the left side. I don't believe it makes a difference. However, I'm not an expert. So we're just gonna slip that in there like that. That fit very nice. Oh, I don't remember what part went next. Maybe this little guy. Seems about right. And there is a bearing that goes in that also. This bearing here, which we can pack with a little bit of grease. I'm gonna be really sad if this thing doesn't work. This was one of my first impact guns I've ever bought. I remember I bought this and I bought a Mac 3 8 100 foot pound with the red cover for 99 bucks. All right, so there's that. And it did have this thrust washer on it, or just a washer, I guess it would be. That went on there like so, and then there was a gasket. Get one on there. We had these things. Yes. Right? Is that right? I think that was right. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. Does this go in here? Would that be easier? That would probably be easier. We'll stick that in the outer housing. But we don't want to do that till we put the uh, jiggly bits back in it. So let's do that. Now remember these were opposite, like so. If I remember right, I don't think that makes much difference. As long as they were opposite. I'm gonna add a couple pins. And then we had a brand new anvil, what we came here to change initially. Okay. Try to put a little bit of grease. And Astro sees how fast I do this. If the SMA channel shuts down, guys, you'll know where I'm at. California. All right, there she is. And I suppose we could put this in here. Oops, don't fall out of there, pin. seems to be in. And we're left with the final piece. This gasket looks a little bit rough. It's got a small little notch in it. You can tell where it was near the screw. You know what? It's going to be easier to go like this. I'd be willing to that. It has two little cut marks in it. We'll try to line that back up. Anybody still awake? All right, seems good. 
and that shouldn't fall out. All we got to worry about is the pins falling out. So we're trying to just go like this. Ooh, look at that. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> I could be totally wrong. We'll find out here in a minute. watch all my footage I do a lot of editing it still spins that's a plus to spec now the moment of truth now the only thing we did not pull out was the trigger bits from the bottom I did give them a good blow with the blow nozzle lots of parts cleaner I don't hear me hissing still forward. Reverse is still reverse. Oil daily and today is a day. So we'll give her some oil. Lots of it. It's probably the last time it's going to get it in a while. And uh, I think anytime we had an impact that broke we always pulled the Allen key out of the bottom or the uh, little bolt here, plug. And we always shot a bunch of oil in there just for good measure. Oh, crap. Maybe not. Maybe not today. She hasn't broken a while, so I haven't had to take this out, you know? you soak this with oil if I remember correctly I mean, yeah I should have taken that out when I was giving it the blow the first time use the venturi effect to get any of the crud out of there this thing is bone dry we'll fix that right up look at that May or may not be too much. Astro is going to be so proud of me. All right, we'll tighten that up. She's oiled. Let's give her a shot of some grease, even though we already greased that rear bearing. Let's see, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Three pumps seems like a good number. There we are, we're good for the next 20 years. About how old she is. Come on, do the fog. Oh, she didn't even fog. shop can might not play an instrument but they can all play the impact it's the only instrument I play that's it folks there it is brand new anvil oh the old in with the new full overhaul we'll call it you know it really wasn't but that's a lot of year, years of use and wear and tear and thanks to Aunt Astro I guess kind of the sponsor of the show because I did not pay for that they kindly sent it to me 
out of sympathy, I suppose. So thank you, Astro, for sending me that and allowing me the opportunity to show how you take apart an air impact, even though we really didn't know what we were doing.